Hey, thanks for coming back to Glenn's Air Studios, where I help you grow your real estate business. Now, before I get into this, I do want to say thank you very much for subscribing to this channel. I already have 212 subscribers. That's not that bad. Haven't really promoted it too much, and 200 is uh, pretty good, I think so. So, anyways, if you're watching this on Instagram, you know, I think I'm at like 174 Glanzayers out there, so thank you. But anyways, this video right here is about how to make offers, okay? Don't make bad offers anymore, okay? Here's how you can make an offer on a house if you want to wholesale a deal, you want to buy a rental, if it's an off-market property, okay? Off-market property, how do you walk through it? How do you know how much you should offer? This would be a really quick video. Before I say anything, if you wouldn't mind liking this video, and if you're on YouTube, subscribing. If you're on Instagram, comment something. That would be awesome. Here we go. Let's dive into it. Here's what. Here's how we're gonna do this here. Okay, what you're gonna first do is you're gonna look at the ARV of the property, okay? ARV means after rehab value. That is after the house is completely fixed up, what can it sell for? What is the nicest that it could possibly be sold for, okay? Now, how you're gonna figure that out is you're gonna look at other houses that have the same beds, same bath, similar square footage in the same area of that house, okay? That's how you're gonna figure out the ARV. For example, we're gonna do 250,000 on this house. So all fixed up, it's gonna be 250,000. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna calculate the rehab, okay? You're gonna calculate how much fixing you're gonna to have to do. Now I'm using very easy numbers here, but you're how much fixing you have to do on this property. So you're gonna look at the kitchen, the bathrooms, the bedrooms, the roof, the mechanicals, add all of that up, okay? 50,000 for example here, and you're gonna get $200,000, okay? What you're gonna do with that 200,000 number, okay? This is, you know, that's attractive. You're gonna multiply it by 30%. That is gonna give you enough buffer room to for things to go wrong and other things like that, okay? I know I've said in previous videos, I had a fire in a house, we had insurance, you know, it worked out, but uh, we are gonna probably lose some money on that house. So we should have had an even bigger buffer than our original offer, okay? So you're gonna multiply that by 30%. That'll give you 60,000, okay? So you have 60,000. Now, I'm gonna come on this side. You're gonna now take that 200,000 number, okay? And you're gonna subtract the 60,000 number, okay? So you're gonna do a separate calculation over here, and you're gonna subtract 60,000 from this number, and you're gonna have 140,000, okay? This is where you're gonna make your offer, okay? So if everything goes right, if you calculate your rehab right, you can make $60,000 profit on that house. Now, almost never will it all go right, okay? So you're gonna take um, that number, okay, and this is how your offer is going to be. So you can potentially make $60,000 profit. Now, if things were to go wrong, then, you know, you can make less $50,000, $40,000. That's going to be your first offer. If you have to, don't lose a deal, okay, if they're at one forty-eight, right? If you feel like it's a good house, you know, one forty-eight. What I would suggest is if you get below 15%, you got to walk away no matter how good of a deal it is, right? So if the number here is, is pushing to 15% on your offers, I would walk away from that deal. There is not enough buffer room for you to make a profit and for things to go wrong. So, you know, look at the numbers here. I'm just gonna redo this. Take your ARV, after rehab value. You're gonna subtract the actual rehab. Get a number, okay? You're gonna multiply that by 30%, which will give you 60,000. Then you're gonna take 200,000 and you're gonna subtract, subtract it right here with 60,000 and that'll be your first offer. So that way you can make an intelligent offer when you go to the house that has you know data behind it. So you're not just like randomly throwing out a number, so you're not just lowballing somebody so they don't get super mad. You have reasons for why you offered this. And then you can work backwards if you need to go up at all. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Now, I do have a free download of an Excel sheet on my website if you go to Glans Air dot com backslash offers if you're on instagram i have that on my bio if you're on youtube i have it in the show notes so you can go down there and uh, you can click it you can get a free download of an excel sheet that does all of this math for you okay so you can throw that in there hopefully that you can use it it'll be helpful to you so if you want to download that that'd be great so anyways thank you so much hit that notification bell thanks for coming to instagram and checking this video out we'll catch you later see ya